I'm kind of old. True. My life's kind of boring. Also true. But I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Good morning, everyone. Are we ready to see the state of me currently? It's called fashion, sweetie. This is um, where we are in the sickness. Um, this is currently what I look like. These pajama pants, this old crusty t-shirt from the Rose Bowl from a few years ago, and my emotional support teddy jacket. Today is actually one of the first days that I'm like semi starting to feel better again. However, now Drew is getting sick. So we've taken a turn for the worse. I just really need to like get myself together. I feel like since I've been sick, actually by the time you've been seeing this, I, this is day seven, but I've been sick for six days. So almost a full week, I feel really behind. I took a lot of days to rest and I'm still gonna do that today, but I just need to like get my shit together. I need to get my things in order. I need to like clean the house. It makes me feel better like mentally to have my space be clean and organized. So every single room, is a mess. I'm gonna be showing you um, some real life stuff. <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but like this is where we've arrived at um, since getting sick. But I will feel so much better by the end of this vlog. I just need to like get myself together. So first, let's start by um, trying to improve this situation. Um, it's noon, by the way. <laughs> together we're not done yet but I wanted to show you I was about to do it and I was like oh I guess I can show it because I haven't really updated in a while on like my DIY lash extensions at home that I do occasionally and I've sort of found like a routine that works for me I don't have the box anymore but this is my last set of the flutter habit I think they're called the flutter habit sweetheart lashes I'll link every single thing I use in the description box below but these are the lashes that I just have that I'm going to use up and then I also use the flutter habit glue that came with it I actually use two types of glues because to me it just works, I'll explain. So I use the Flutter Habit glue, it's called Made For This Five Day Under Lash Adhesive. I get the black color, and then I also do this Lashify bondage. It's like a, almost like a mascara wand that has the glue on it. And to me, this doesn't work enough on its own, but it's way stickier. So this has like the holding power basically, but I can never get them to like stick to my lashes really well. So I basically put this on, like on the base of my eyelashes, I'll show you and then this I put on the actual lashes themselves we'll get into it but I'm also using this little tool that I saw recommended on a TikTok so I bought it it was very expensive and it is just like a fancy little tweezer but you can like get right under there you can push them in you know whatever I used to get lash extensions like at a salon um, every two weeks and this is just a thing that I've been doing lately to save time and it's just easier and I save a lot of money doing it so basically what I'm gonna do it comes with all the lashes in like little pieces so you take each piece of the lash off and then I'm gonna apply a small amount of glue to the base of the top of the lash which is weird because usually when you do strip lashes typically you rest them on top of your lash line like this but these ones you put underneath I don't know it just works so I use four on each side these come with four but just measure them to your eye and, and figure out what works essentially the inner corner ones I always cut in half because my eye isn't that long so I'm gonna take these four and basically put the lash glue on top of each of the base of the lashes All right, now that I've got all of those 
glued and I'm waiting for the glue to get tacky. Then I go in with the Lashify glue, which I showed before. It's like a mascara. This stuff is really hard to get off your lashes, so just make sure you use it sparingly. <laughs> I go in and like put it just at the very base, like I tap it like that just at the very base of my lash. It actually only takes like a few seconds to start getting tacky, like maybe 30 seconds. Just kind of tap it in like that. And I only do one side at a time, so I'm just gonna wait a few more seconds. Somehow gotten all over my eye since then, that's great. So basically I take my little tweezies. This is kind of gonna be hard to see, but I work from the outside in. You can do whatever works for you. This feels like a lot of product. I might take a little bit of this glue off. And then literally what I do is like open my eye really wide like this. It looks kind of crazy and I just stick it on in there. Should just like stick right on. It feels kind of weird at first, especially if you're used to putting your lashes like over and then I go in and kind of like smush it like this and kind of like stick it down and there you have it so you repeat that all across the eye so I'll do it for this whole eye I just go right next to where I was before is that close enough can you see that so I just go right under and like stick it as close to the lash line or the water line or the tight line I think it's called as possible and then like sometimes I'll even like go in like this and just kind of like push it along if you can like feel it too much when you're blinking it's probably too close so you can like move it around you can like take this and sort of like wiggle it or do whatever it is you got to do and this has been like when I'm not explaining what I'm doing this takes me five minutes I've come a long way since the first time I tried it on this channel. If you remember, oh baby, your girl was struggling. Super easy. And then the final little inner corner one. Boop. Done. And I just think it looks so nice. It looks like, you know, my eye, like I don't even do eyeliner most of the time when I wear these. And most of the time, depending, like sometimes I have to, you know, move them around or whatever, but most of the time they last about a week, which is pretty great. All right, gotten ourselves all ready. And actually today is like the first, well, actually the last few days, but especially today is the first day where I feel like my lips have like really settled down a lot. In case you missed the first Vlogmas, I did get lip filler a couple of weeks ago. The day that I'm filming this, it's been two two and a half weeks ish and I feel like I'm like okay I actually they've settled down a lot a lot of you told me they would even the injector told me that they would so I'm actually like really pleased with how they've turned out I don't think I'm gonna get them dissolved I think I'm getting used to them I think they look way more natural now they really don't even look that much different than my natural lips which again I really loved but yeah just as a little update here's what they look like I knew that the injector that I was working with was phenomenal. That's why I went to her. I loved her work. She's also done Botox on me before and she promised me that they would go down and I knew that they would, but I just panicked. I just panicked. So I won't be getting them dissolved. Would I do it again? Probably not. It was really like a shock to me. Like it, I felt like it changed my entire face and all of you have been so sweet about it. There were a couple people that like left comments, but all of you were just so sweet and supportive and, and I was curious. I mean, I wanted to know, so I found out. But yeah, this is um, currently what they're looking like. And I'm happy with them. I think they last like around a year or so. I won't be getting them again, but it was a fun ride and I'll enjoy them while I have them. I just got myself dressed and Layla's in front of this mirror. She's taking a little nap over there. I'll show you my little loungewear outfit of the day over here. We are going extremely casual over here. These flare, they're like a waffle, almost like a long johns type of material flare pant. Um, these are from Aerie. I got them in a size extra large long. So if you're taller than like five, seven, five, eight, I would recommend maybe getting a long. And then this sweater, I don't, I think it's from Thread Up actually. I'm pretty sure it's from Thread Up, but it's originally from Wild Fable. And I just wanted to feel like cute and cozy kind of holiday-ish today. My hair is in a very strange bun up here, um, but I need to wash my hair and like shower and stuff, but I wanted to fake tan and clean and stuff first before I like shower everything off. So that is my look for today. And I'm just gonna be very honest with you. Here's the state of my house. So we have a little bit of lounging that we did yesterday on the couch that needs to be cleaned up. We need some vacuuming. Miss girl over here has been shedding everywhere. She looks like I've never Ever brushed her a day in her life and I spent an hour brushing her like two days ago or maybe it was yesterday I can't remember anyways that's just 
how it is with Layla. So we just have a lot of hair all over the carpet. We have clumps of it under couches. Oh, we got some crumbs it looks like, that's good. Oh, a little more here. You're getting the picture, I would assume. Um, yep, there we go. We have a lot to clean up here in the bathroom. Oh, never acknowledged this. <laughs> She's not doing so well. So we tried to give her a nice little bath and we might actually try to move her outside. So we'll see about that. It's just, you know, it's not clean. We have a lot, a lot is happening. So I think what I'm gonna do is just go like room by room and tidy a little bit. I'm not doing like a full, full deep clean. Like I'm not getting on my hands and knees and scrubbing the baseboards or anything, but we'll do a vacuum. Definitely like cleaning, sanitizing of surfaces and all of that since I've been sick, even though Drew's sick now. So we'll start in here and basically these are all three boxes of returns for my main channel. I'm gonna move these to the car. Oh, I don't even wanna think about how dirty my car is. That's a whole other thing. So we'll start by moving these to the car. need to put these back in the spots where they go those don't go here this can rest here put these away this is my main channel camera she goes in drew's office in this little nightstand thing that we've had forever so she can go there in the meantime all right that is looking much better just need to vacuum in here now on to the living room basically i just need to tidy that's really all and then like vacuum and definitely clean off this coffee table. Oh my gosh. normally dust everything like the TV and this TV stand and like the coffee table and all of that but I just realized I'm out of my Swiffer dusters. I have like the stick but I'm out of like the little dusting pads so I'll have to order some more of those and we'll do without it but it's mostly just about like vacuuming. Layla has hidden a little baby over here. Did you hide your baby? You don't want him right now? Okay. He'll go back in his home with the others. I feel pretty good about that. That feels good to me. Definitely need to turn on the tree soon. Don't we? You look like a little angel next to the tree. That's so cute. While I'm cleaning, I also would love to light some candles because that just really sets the vibe and makes it feel extra clean. So we'll light our Christmas tree scented candles out here. Delicious. Before we start with the bathroom, our hallway, I just noticed, has a bunch of shit. Like, I haven't even wrapped these Stanley cups that I showed in, like, three vlogs ago. So I'm gonna put these over in my little area where I'm, like, hiding Christmas presents, just so that they're all in one area. We have random- these are all clean clothes. Like, I don't know how these ended up here. We have my water bottle, and then this candle can stay. I'll light this one. It's pretty much done, but we'll go ahead and light this. If you have any ideas for what we should do with this area, this used to be, like, a desk phone area back in the day like when this apartment was you know thriving back like 100 years ago um and there's like some drawers and stuff in here but we were thinking maybe like putting books our friends suggested like a vintage phone maybe some wallpaper i don't know let us know if you have any ideas the bathroom is definitely what i'm dreading the most we need to wash these badly we need to mop these floors vacuum oh my god there's like lash glue in the toilet <laughs> I need to empty the trash, wipe off the counters, transfer her to her new outdoor home on the patio. In fact, I'm gonna do that first. We have a lot to do, so let's just do it. I've been avoiding it long enough. She's heavier than me. wash them and I feel like we're definitely past due for that. I can feel how dirty this is. <laughs> Life. It's 
someone has to lead it. All right, and the kitchen, um, yeah, we have, <laughs> there's a lot going on in the kitchen. We have some dirty dishes in the sink here that need to be taken care of. We have clean dishes in the dishwasher. These are also clean and need to be put away. We had a bit of a honey pantry explosion that we need to sort out. We have some clean laundry that just needs to be folded and put away. We have a little shoe rack to put together. Just random like fruity pebbles, panty liners. I don't know. This package, I don't even know what to do with. Essentially, this is about, I mean, I'm not kidding. The people who lived here before us have sent a package a month or maybe more to this address that they no longer live in that they haven't lived in since at least may when we looked at this place it is now december and they are still sending packages like amazon packages clothes all sorts of stuff and i have gone back to like the fedex store the ups store to like read deliver like to send it back like four different times already maybe more and like it just happened again and i feel like if anyone has been in this situation and they continually get packages by accident for someone else like what do you do because i feel like i'm going above and beyond by like returning the package every time like i could i don't know what this is it's like a vacuum like a handheld vacuum or something but obviously i'm gonna send it back but it's just like bro learn what your new address is I don't know. Um, I have this little shoe rack that I think I'm gonna put there, but I wanna wait on that until after I vacuum. So let's just like tidy up the counters. I also realized I totally forgot to show this little area. Drew and I found this like peel and stick backsplash stuff and we thought it was so cute and it honestly turned out so adorable. We're really happy with it. So we just, I don't know, thought we'd bring a little, little bit more color into the space. We're like little by little trying to get this place how we want it. We've just gotten so busy over the last few months. We haven't really decorated in a while. stopped for a little lunch break but I've since had lunch I'm feeling much better and the last thing to clean is just a vacuum so I'm just gonna vacuum the entire house the bath mats and everything are in the dryer right now I already made my bed last night like I put fresh sheets on my bed last night took out the trash took Layla outside so we'll vacuum and then we'll be done and I'm already feeling so much better <laughs> Right, we made it. The cleaning is done. I'm gonna put together this shoe rack really quick. There's only like two steps, I think, so it should be easy. And then we got a very special delivery that I am going to go get. And I've been waiting pretty much all of December to try. And yes, if you notice the difference between my arm and my hand, I was obviously not really thinking and I had to wash my hands several times. So I will need to re-blend that with some more fake tin. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. so perfect that is exactly what we needed amazing and it was like fifteen dollars love that ah my favorite time of night when the tree is on okay i'm officially done cleaning um i'm so over it and i got a special delivery like i said and it is from crumble cookies um i ordered this by the way i paid for this with my own money i've been very curious about their like holiday cookies and so i ordered a delivery the holiday cookies for this week oh these look and smell divine okay so here are this week's holiday cookies i know this one for sure is molten lava cake this one is called orange swirl or orange whirl this one is pecan pie peanut brittle salted toffee chocolate chip and then their sugar cookie so we're gonna try all of these out and i did pay for one of these things that cuts it in perfect sections because why not is this gonna be okay oh 
I don't think this cookie cutter is gonna work. I think I waited too long. Let me grab a knife. So I've had crumble cookies before. I just haven't had these seasonal flavors. And I don't know if like when I went to crumble the first few times that I went there, they have them in Arizona, by the way. Um, I don't know if they had like all of these flavors. Cause so basically it's a cookie place. That's kind of like, I don't know, polarizing. Like some people think the cookies are really good. Some people think they're gross. Definitely should have cut into these when they were warm, but I had cleaning to do, so whatever. But lately, every week they do different flavors. Like they have a bunch of different flavors. Oh, and my camera is going to die. Great, this is good. Things are going well. Let me switch cameras really quick. Okay, anyways, like I was trying to say, they, I don't know how long they've been doing this like seasonal thing, but every week they change out their flavors. So they keep like, a couple flavors is the same, but every week they do like different seasonal flavors. So I was like, sure, let's try it out. So we've got six different ones to try. I'm gonna try like a bite of each one. I don't think I can commit to a full slice, but we'll start simple and we'll go with the salted toffee chocolate chip, I think it's called. Here she is, cheers. Whoa, to me it's like straight up butterscotch. Really good, Drew's gonna love that. I wanna eat more of it, but I, like I get sick of sweet stuff really fast. So we will move on to sugar cookie, which I've, I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure their sugar cookie has almond extract in it, which like some people love, like Drew, for example, loves it. I personally don't. I think it's kind of like, why would you put almond extract in a sugar cookie? I just feel like that's all I can taste and it kind of ruins it. So I don't know. Cheers, sugar cookie, let's try it. The texture looks phenomenal, by the way. Wait, this is 10 out of 10. I don't taste the almond anymore, but it's really good. I wanna eat the rest of this so bad. The texture is 10 out of 10. The flavor is 10 out of 10. This is a bomb sugar cookie. I would like it a, a lot without the frosting as well. I really wanna keep eating this, but we'll move on. So I would say like the salted toffee is like eight out of 10. Like butterscotch isn't my favorite flavor in the world, but it's good. And then the sugar cookie, dare I say, is 10 out of 10. Okay, next we are gonna try this peanut brittle. I love peanut butter. Well, lately it tastes kind of weird because I have parosmia after having COVID last year, but I'm not a big like peanut person, peanut brittle. I don't really eat peanuts. I don't even like crunchy peanut butter that much, but we are gonna try it. Okay, cheers, peanut brittle. It's really delicious. Mm. I don't know if it tastes exactly like peanut brittle because it's a little bit sweeter than that, but it does have that sort of like caramelized, like toffee-ish kind of flavor. It's actually really good. It's a really good peanut butter cookie. I bet that would be really good fresh out of the oven. Okay, next, oh, sorry, rating. I'm gonna give that like, still like an eight out of 10. It's really delicious. Next, we're gonna do pecan pie. Like, tell me that this doesn't look like a little baby slice of pecan pie. By the way, if I wasn't on camera and I was with my southern friends, I would say pecan, but I feel like it draws too much attention. People are like, pecan? Okay, so here it is. Little Miss Pecan Pie, let's do it. Oh my God. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm, damn. Whoa, that's like one of the best ones yet. It's so good because the cookie underneath it isn't that sweet but it's like really sweet on the top. It has like, you know, typical pecan pie. I'm so sad that Drew isn't feeling good. He's sleeping right now. He's going through what I was just going through like a week ago. So I know he's not feeling hot. Um, I really wanted to do this with him, but obviously like I'm gonna let him be. That is phenomenal. I'm gonna give that like 9.5 out of 10. I'm not like a huge pecan pie person, honestly. I'm just like not a, I'm, I'm a chocolate kind of gal. Like that's just what I like, but that is freaking amazing. Like I would eat that whole thing right now. Next we're gonna do the orange one because I actually wanna end it on chocolate cause I think the molten chocolate cake is gonna be my favorite one. So we're gonna do this orange whirl, orange swirl. I don't know if it's supposed to be orange frosting or orange cookie, but we're gonna find out. So cheers. Mm. Mm. A lot of flavors happening. You know what? That's really good. The orange actually isn't super strong. And it has like a cream cheese frosting on the top. So it sort of like balances it out a little bit. And I really think I like it. I would definitely never like go out of my way to order it, but I'll for sure finish this cookie. Are you kidding? I'm gonna give that like, again, like eight out of 10. None of these are bad at all. Okay, but last but not least, oh, I should have like heated this up, but 
we're going for it this is the molten chocolate cake or molten lava cake which is like probably my favorite dessert in the world so this better be good all right cheers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. i'm a little disappointed i'm not gonna lie it's really good it's very cocoa-y but i think i like that because it's not like sickeningly sweet you know i mean i bet you anything like warmed up with some vanilla ice cream this would be phenomenal and i am gonna finish this quarter of it mm -hmm. there is like a little bit of like fudge in the middle mm. all of these are phenomenal Keep your fingers crossed that Drew and I will be able to finish these over the next few days. I just wanted to do something festive for the end of this vlog because I know that you guys understand and don't care, but for me, it's like I want to like love what I'm putting out there and I want to spend this time during Vlogmas like doing fun holiday-ish things that I love. So this is fun, you know, kind of Christmassy. I don't know, it is holiday flavor. So I think what I'm gonna do is change into my cozies. Well, first I'm gonna rinse off my fake tan, wash my hair, change into my comfy clothes, watch a Christmas movie tonight. Just have like a cozy holiday night in. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me while I feel like I'm like getting my life back in order. And I will see you very soon for vlogmas number six. Crazy. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Mm -hmm.